Hi there, I'm Amanda Kasser with Material Girl Quilts. Today I'm going to share with you another tutorial for using pre-cut two and a half inch strips. This is the Jelly Roll 18 patch. Now this block is beginner friendly, it goes together quickly and I think it's so cute once it's all together. The quilt behind me is the lap size and all it takes to make the top is one Jelly Roll. So all you need to finish it is add your backing and binding fabric and you're ready to go. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do when you open up your jelly roll is to separate out the 40 strips into 20 different pairs. So you will take two different strips to create a pair and it's best if you have con nice contrast between the two strips for your pairs. So I have done that here and set them aside. And what you'll do then with each pairing, you will sew them together along the length to create a set like this. And once that's all sewn together, you will then cut this long um, set into three different three and a half inch segments. So first we will need to cut off the selvage edge here and I always like to line up, especially when you have a long strip set sewn like this. Sometimes when you're pressing it might get a little bit wavy so you want to make sure that you have you line up your seam line on the ruler to make sure that it is nice and straight and we will cut off the selvage and then we will cut the first segment at 13 and a half inches so we line up the ruler at 13 and a half and again line up one of these lines along the seam to make sure that we're straight there's the first segment and again we cut it 13 and a half inches and then one last time and this will just be scrap so once you've done that you'll have three sections that are 13 and a half inches long now what we'll need to do is sew these together to make a block. So I'm going to go do that now and we'll be back to show you what's next. Okay, now that we have all of our 13 and a half inch segments sewn together, um, here's what the block will look like. But I also forgot to mention that when you sew your strip, your pairs of strips together, I suggest that you press to one direction. Usually I press towards the darker fabric. And then once you um, sew the segments together, you will keep pressing in the same towards the same fabric so that it'll, it'll look like this on the back. So now, once our block is in this format, what we're gonna do now is we will cut this into three different segments that are four and a half inches wide. So we will line our ruler up four and a half inches cut and again at four and a half inches and cut and then what you will do is take your center section and flip it the opposite direction and now all you need to do is sew this these together into the different columns and that will be your completed block and here is a sample completed block. So once this block is complete it will measure 12 and a half inches square and as you can see on the back side I had pressed in this uh, direction of the dark fabric each time and then once I sewed the columns together I just pressed towards um, the outside. You could either press these open to lay a little flatter if that if you prefer but it, um, or you can press in one direction it really doesn't matter on that part. So you will repeat this process with all of your pairings to create a total of 20 blocks. You will lay out your blocks as shown in the diagram into five rows of four blocks each and the finished quilt will measure 48 inches by 60 inches. If you have two jelly rolls that you'd like to use to make this quilt, you can use 70 of the strips to create a total of 35 blocks and lay those out in seven rows of five blocks each. That quilt would measure 60 inches by 84 inches. 
You could also use 72 of the strips to create 36 blocks and lay those out in six rows of six blocks each to uh, create a 72 inch square quilt. And finally, if you want to use all 80 strips, you can create 40 blocks, lay them out into eight rows of five blocks each, and the quilt would measure 60 inches by 96 inches for an extra long twin size. As you can see, there's a lot of options for the Jelly Roll 18 patch quilt. You're really only limited by the number of two and a half inch strips that you have. If you love this quilt as much as I do and make one of your own, I would love to see it. Please tag me on social media at Material Roll Quilts and use the hashtag Jelly Roll 18 Patch Quilt. Now I will link to um, the materials I used for this quilt as well as the printable pattern in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials going forward. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.